part, you guys, I just had like such an aha and I was like, oh my gosh, I, I actually need to stop what I'm doing right now and make a video. Okay, so somebody asked me yesterday, how did you come in so quick, Danielle, and you built right to double diamond so quickly? How did you do that? And I was like, well, like I had been in this business before, so I kind of like had the this and I had the this and, you know, I, I already knew all the things with the products and, you know, so I... I don't know why, but I felt like I was kind of like a deer in headlights. Like I didn't feel worthy of like, I was like, oh no, 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 you're very misconstrued. Like, and she was like, no, but you did. Like you, you know, started from the ground up and you had the zero BV and you, um, and it's crazy because I'm like, yeah, like you're right. Like I did, I did start all over to then do it again. And I could have been that deer in headlights where I didn't, didn't do anything and or I or I tried again and I just tiptoed around but I, so I, what I told her was I honestly decided to jump two feet in but that's not it it just hit me like yeah I jumped in I decided like did the work you know blah 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 blah, blah all of that I decided to do the work but it wasn't that so it hit me and I'm <laughs> before when I did this business I was so focused on like my goals as a family and like my goals like me staying home and like all the things that it was going to do for me and my family not to say that I didn't care about my team because I definitely did but I think the way that I was coached and the way that I was trained like I just wasn't taught to like do that so I didn't like latch on to anything other than like this is what we do and, and, and honestly I'm the one at fault for that but now like with mom passing away just a couple like weeks ago like I couldn't sit and like dwell because I knew I had a team that I cared so much for and I needed to be there for them I'm gonna mess up my makeup but what's changed is that I've put so many people first it's not about me anymore it has nothing to do with me it truly and genuinely has everything to do with my team and that's why I'm like that's why I had to get out of bed after mom passed away because I had people that relied on me I had people that I needed to be there for I'm messing up my makeup you guys <laughs> So I just want you guys to know that putting other people first ahead of your own goals and all your thing and focusing on your team and focusing on the people that aren't even on your team yet. Like that is right. That right there is what's going to make you be such an incredible leader. That right there is what's going to take you to diamond is by working with them towards their goals. And, and it is so personal because there are so many people on this team that have such incredible goals that I want to help so badly. And when their why becomes my why, like that's when everything shifted. Um, and what did I do? How did I start that? I didn't even know what I was doing, but when I asked people, why did you get started in this business? I made a picture and I put it on a poster board so that I looked at that every single day and, and their why became my why. So that when I hit that huge hurdle of my mom passing away, I, I didn't, I didn't dwell. I didn't, I looked at that board and I said, I need to be there for Trinette because she's doing this. I need to be there for that person. And I just went through it and I was like, I need to be there for them. So that's what got me out of bed. And that, that really is my why is my team. So I just love you guys so much. And I just want you guys to know that you are so capable of such incredible things, but you are the only one that's holding you back. Your belief, you caring what other people think. You just have to jump two feet in and, and do the work, get to work because you guys, there's so many incredible people out there that want this, but you've got to be the best version of yourself if you want them to join you. If you're sitting there being negative in your head or you're talking to somebody else about all the, you know, struggles that you're having with this business or whatever, like that's just going to keep coming. So focus on the positive, put that positivity out there. And I promise you right now that if you start and you make that shift and you are going to see such incredible things happening in your business and you're going to go, holy crap, she was right. So guys, I've been in this business for 10 years. I've definitely learned a lot. So that was a pretty good aha that I really wanted to make sure I shared with you guys. I love you so much. So I'm here for each and every one of you any way that I can, because you guys have such huge goals and I want to help each and every one of you reach those. So let's get to work. You guys, let's do the dang thing.